Crazy, giant python hunt leopard cubs when mother leopard hunting impala. Hello everyone, welcome to the world of wonders. In this video, you'll witness a rare and intense encounter between a giant python and two leopard cubs. As a mother leopard goes on a hunt for an impala, the cubs stumble upon the python and the chase is on. This is a once in a lifetime sighting and we're thrilled to be able to bring it to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that. About Python Attacks When a python attacks another animal, it typically uses its powerful constricting muscles to subdue its prey. The python will wrap its body around the animal, squeezing it tighter and tighter until the prey can no longer breathe. This process usually only takes a few minutes. The python uses its keen senses, such as its sense of smell and heat sensing pits, to locate and track its prey. The tight squeeze of the python's coils cuts off the prey's circulation and disrupts its breathing, causing the animal to lose consciousness and die from suffocation. After the prey has died, the python will swallow it whole, using its flexible jaws and powerful muscles to ingest the entire animal. This process can take several hours, as the python works the prey down its long, narrow body and into its stomach. One group of impala were grazing the grass, while the other group was drinking water from the riverbank. On the other hand, a mother leopard was searching for its prey because it was too hungry. But there came slowly a python with its body just scraping the ground. While the mother leopard was searching for the prey, it found a group of impala grazing. The leopard was very cunning. She hid herself among the bushes to catch the impala. It was keenly noticing each and every movement of those impala. It was waiting for a perfect time to take another step. It was too mindful that it should not leave the impala, otherwise it cannot feed its young cubs. As one of the impala was grazing over the rock, the leopard made a quick move and started chasing the impala. The impala tried its level best to run away from the enemy, but it could not match with the speed of the leopard. At one point, the leopard jumped over the impala and caught hold of the neck of the impala with its sharp teeth. The impala was shouting in pain and crying for someone's help. The poor impala had no one to help and finally became prey to the leopard. Meanwhile, the leopard cub, which was waiting for the arrival of the mother, was there under the tree. There came a python, very furious, searching for its prey. By seeing the python, all of their animals began running for their lives. The python was 30 feet or more in length. It had powerful muscles and flexible jaws, which allowed them to swallow prey much larger than their own head. It is also known for their impressive ability to sense their surroundings, using heat-sensing pits on their faces to locate prey. Now as the mother leopard was returning after a hunt, it was searching for its cub and recognized that its cub was in danger because of the python. The leopard boldly faced a python attack in order to protect its young cub. The snake bit the leopard several times and also the leopard cub. The python was inside the bushes and the leopard tried to bring it out. But whenever the leopard touches the python, it gets angry. 
and tries to attack the leopard. It was a do or die moment for the leopard. But the poor mother leopard could not do anything to save the cub. The python raged over the cub and squeezed the small cub so tightly that it couldn't breathe. The cub's blood circulation was stopped and all the bones began to become weak and started breaking. The cub was brutally killed by the python. The poor mother could not do anything. The python tried to swallow the cub, but it spat out the cub from its mouth and slowly moved away from the place and went inside the lake. The mother leopard came near the dead cub and wept bitterly. Now the mother was too angry with the python and it was searching and waiting near the lake to find the python. The mother waited and waited for a long time along with its dead cub, but it could not find the python, so it sadly took the dead cub in its mouth and moved away from the place. I know that you all will be waiting eagerly to watch what are the other incidents that happened. Before going to the other incidents, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Let's continue watching. Another incident. Leopards are powerful predators that are capable of killing and eating pythons. Although this is a relatively rare occurrence, once the leopard went to hunt for their cubs, there came a huge python to swallow the young cub. The python attacked the cub and killed it before the mother arrived. The poor mother was searching for its cub to feed the hunted food, but it found the dead cub. Soon after the incident, it found the python slowly moving away from the place and came to a conclusion that its cub was killed by the python. The furious leopard made an attack on the python. When a leopard kills a python, it typically uses its sharp claws and powerful jaws to subdue the snake. A leopard will first grab the python with its sharp claws and then use its powerful jaws to bite and hold onto the snake. The leopard may shake the snake back and forth, causing damage to the python's spine and internal organs. The leopard may also use its claws to puncture the snake's body, causing further injury. Once the python is weakened or dead, the leopard will start to eat the snake, beginning with the head and then working its way down the body. Leopards are known for their ability to drag large prey up into trees, where they can eat it in relative safety and without interference from other animals. It's worth noting that while leopards are capable of killing pythons, this is not a common occurrence, and such encounters are relatively rare. Finally, the python was brutally killed by the leopard. Each animal lives on the earth depending on the other animal, but it is lovely to see the feeling that one animal has for the other animal, just like how humans have feelings. There is much more for humans to learn from animals like these. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.